We're back, everybody. With more Class 7 and Reen. And what was I doing? Oh, yeah. So I couldn't find... <clears throat> so I did a small bit of research. Just a tiny bit to look something up. <laughs> and I gave you the answer to the universe. Sort of. I, I just looked up like the last two um the last two super cryptid bosses and just to save myself some time trying to find them here there there is none available right now so that's all that's what I that's all I looked up to check on <clears throat> okay we need to go to Augusta and St. Art Cathedral Square We got side questos to do. It is Rhymabella. Lady Rhymabella. Rhymabella. I don't know. What am I going to do, my precious children? Instructor, do you think? Yeah, it looks like she's the one who placed that semi-required request with the guild. It said she wanted someone from Crossbell to hear her out, right? In that case... <clears throat> if you choose to listen to the old woman, you will not be able to remove Yuna from your party for some time. That's That's fine. As if I'd removed the ladies. Excuse me, but... Yuna asked about the request from the guild. Oh, yes, that's me. I put in that request without... Hoping for much, but maybe this is Adios' guidance, hmm? Are you also from Crossbell? Yep, but I'm here for the moment. Does that mean you're from Crossbell, too? Oh, yes, I live in the residential district. This is just wonderful. I was so discouraged being alone so far from home. I can't just go home without the children children it says in the order that you lost something precious yes yes they're very precious have you heard of rosenberg dolls ah so i have heard of the rosenberg dolls but since you didn't watch me play the crossbell games yet you haven't <clears throat> rosenberg dolls are so you know that um giant big boobed evil alchemist lady maria bell okay she she collected rosenberg dolls <clears throat> mm. And she actually fights with them when we fight her, when she's in the force now. She has the power to control them. <clears throat> uh. So that's what she's talking about. Yes, of course we have. They're created by a master craftsman of unparalleled skill in a workshop in Crossbell. As such, they're worth tens of thousands of mirror, aren't they? Wow, I've never heard of them. Whoa, you know a lot about them, Yuse. I've only ever seen them in store windows. They can actually range from tens of thousands to even millions of Mira. In these modern times, they most certainly are. My late husband and I adored children, but had none of our own. We ended up welcoming those three into our home instead. I brought them with me on my trip so I wouldn't be lonely. But, oh, oh. Ma'am, are you okay? Please calm down. I guess that her beloved children have gone missing. I don't believe they were merely misplaced. This was left on the table the morning following their initial disappearance. This is... No way. That jerk. Ah, so that's what happened. I heard about this from someone in the special support section. That's right. Phantom Thief B. This is the same card he's left at all of the crimes that he's committed across the continent. May I take a look? <clears throat> of course. I have no idea what happened. <clears throat> I've taken custody of your three children. You ought to start by relying on the guild. The location of the first. In the old town where the pair of close siblings checked the top floor of their dwelling. Location of the first. In the old town, there are a pair of close siblings. Check the top floor of their dwelling. This is one of his riddles. It's him for sure. It's as the rumors say. We need to investigate quickly. Can we take this card? Of course. Just please help me. I just want Iris, Shauna, and Cannon back home. Safe and sound. Heh, there's Iris here too. What am I fighting for? God, as much as I love X4, that voice acting is so fucking cheesy. <laughs> Didn't Phantom Thief B help you in Crossbell? Yeah, but he might have had been going along with what Ren, with that Ren kid's decisions. Think of my assistance as my grand return to the stage I was so rudely forced off of, as well as a gift in <clears throat> memory of my most worthy rival, the debaucherous <clears throat> Prince. I miss Oliver. <clears throat> but I think he was being sincere. Indeed, I've heard a little about his personality from Vita. 
This modus operandi doesn't fit with that. <clears throat> I agree. The old Class 7 went up against him several times when we were still students. But I don't remember him ever doing something as awful as stealing what's essentially an old lady's only family. Either way, this is totally a written challenge for all of us. We're just going to have to go along with it for now. But a crime's a crime. Justice will be served. Location of the first. In the old town, there are a pair of close siblings. Check the top floor of their dwelling. <clears throat> old town. Close siblings. I can think of a few candidates. It's probably safe to exclude the eastern half of the Empire and Crossbell. If there are any places nearby that match the description, we should go and take a look. Okay. So, I think I have an idea of what that might be. <clears throat> Ulster, I believe, is, an, is a possibly old town. And then the close siblings, Kai and Tilly is home. And it also has a top floor. So, let's see if I was right. Based on what I just looked at on the map, I believe I am. Ah, and I am. <clears throat> okay. And this is a book. Oh, no, that's a briefcase. I want to check the book. Whatever. This trunk feels out of place. Yes, I agree. A black leather trunk with gold roses? Instructor, is it possible? Right, we should ask Tilia if we can check it out. It might be a good idea to call her brother Kai in as well. I was right. Ah, I solve riddles. I'm good at that. Yeah! Oh, look, it's so cute. So this is a Rosenberg doll. They're basically incredibly lifelike, damn near human-sized dolls. What do you think? Huh. They're okay. I like it. I, w I would love to own stuff like that. But then again, I'm just creepy. <laughs> no, I, I like fancy things. And I, I think I think those are really, really cool. It's like a lifelike mannequin puppet. Just better hope it doesn't go all Annabelle on you. <clears throat> okay. That's quite an exquisite doll, isn't it? Well, Yuna, is this the one we're looking for? Definitely. I might have only seen them in stores, but I know a Rosenberg doll when I see one. Oh, the name's on the tag. Char. That's not what we heard earlier, is it? Hmm, it seems like we have the next note, too. <clears throat> the whereabouts of the second. A road to a village that vanished from the map. Explore the Garden of Consolation. Well, we know where that's at. Isn't this? That has to be Phantom Thief B's card. Kai, Tilly, I need to apologize for getting you caught up in all this. It's okay. Though it is a little unnerving to find out someone put this here, especially considering Tilia was here by herself. What if something had happened? I'm just fine, Kai. Stop worrying. The doll's pretty cute, though. It, though it looks kind of sad, doesn't it? The owner must miss it. Please make sure you give it back to them, okay? You got it. I suppose we'll take custody of this trunk and doll. All right, well, road to... Well, first. <clears throat> I don't get what he was thinking, leaving it in there. Agreed, it does seem a poor choice. But about the next card. The whereabouts of second. A road to a village that vanished from the map. Explore the Garden of Consolation. There's a couple of places I can think of from that. Really, Reed? Because there's only one that you should, be able to, you should be thinking of. The main point is a village that vanished from the map. It can't be this place. The road and Garden of Consolation must be hints. Okay, let's get looking. <clears throat> they found and collected the first Rosenberg doll, Char. Mander? There, I know you wanted to. Nah, I'm good. I know you wanted to. No. Uh, so, the, the village that vanished from the map is obviously Hamel. And it says it's on the road, so... I think it's going to be where we picked the flowers on Hamel Road to lay to rest. Yep, there it is. Man, I am so good at easy riddle solving. I can solve the easy riddles. <laughs> and there's the second doll. <clears throat> there it is. So it was on the road to Hamel after all. I think they made these riddles a little easier because in like the first couple of games they they were not as uh, they were not as direct. 
So it was on the road to Hamel after all. A village that vanished from the map and a garden of consolation. Yeah, it's a shame how the lilies are being swallowed up by all the black pleromograts, though. Anyway, let's check this. Let's check inside the case. Is this one a boy? Or perhaps a boyish girl? The tag says his name is Cannon. It's got one of those cards. This should be the last one. <clears throat> the location of the third. The depths of beginnings in the shadows of the flame's trial. Okay, there's the cryptic. <clears throat> the depths of beginnings in the shadows of the flame's trial. Hmm. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. The bar was really raised for this one. No ideas right off the bat, huh? Give me a minute. I might be able to think of something. Thanks, Yuna. I think I know what it is, anyway. <sighs> I never thought they'd actually hide it in Hamel. Yes, especially when one considers what happened here before. This is it. We're going to find the last doll and teach whoever stole them a lesson. I found the second Rosenberg doll cannon. So, if my theory is correct. The depths of the beginning, which would mean... I would assume it'd be the depths of the first phase of the St. Grawl Labyrinth. Oh. Shit! In the Shadow of the Flame's Trial. Damn, I am good! For a break? I am good! So it was here after all. Ah, I see. The Shadows of the Flame's Trials. This labyrinth was built by a witch, descended from the Kin of Fire. <clears throat> yeah, I didn't, I didn't even... I didn't even look at it like that. I just saw the depths of the beginning, and it's the first depth we ever went to at the start of the game. And as for the depths of beginnings, this is where you first tr where you were trained by Rosalia, isn't that right? Yeah, it was me, Allie, Kurt, and Randy on our team. <clears throat> but this labyrinth usually guarded by witches, right? Yes, you need the Elder's explicit permission to enter. How did anyone manage to sneak in? This should be the last one. Let's see what's inside. Oh, this one's quite pretty, actually. The name on the tag says Alice. The group found and collected the third Rosenberg doll, Alice. <clears throat> so we have Alice, Cannon, and Char. Come to think of it, those names don't match up with what Lady R Rimabella told us. Yeah, I noticed that, too. I see. I think we've been taken for a ride. Huh? Yeah. Everyone, watch out! Now we have to fight the evil dolls. Oh, no. I feel like this was taking, getting us taken for a ride by Maribel Croix, who can possess the dolls. What's going on? Now we gotta fight the evil cute dolls. Careful, those dolls are dangerous. They're being controlled with magic, and they're not here to play around. Roger. Let's begin. I like the one on the right because when I go into high speed mode, it looks like it's just ready to fucking. Looks like it's ready to give me the monkey business. Look at the one with the blue hair just dancing. Oh yeah, because it jumps. Yeah. <laughs> looks like it's ready to give me the fucking the monkey business. <laughs> Holy nope. shit! Sorry. They do so. They do damage. Yeah, they're gonna take your soul. I, nope. I hope not. Nope. Wait, um, what, what, what did I do? What happened? What, did I, did I accidentally Let's hit auto go. battle? I did. All that ain't right. good. Time barrier. Damn it. Now. Stupid auto battle button. It's my turn. Huh? Time for medicines. I'm going. Shot. I'm going. Huh? Oh, nope. I'll be here for you. Thank Don't you. Up. I'll treat you immediately. <laughs> Thanks. I'm going. Arcus, act. Yeah. Yes. Huh? I'm going. Huh? Take this. There. I'll restore you. <laughs> Thanks for the help. All right. <laughs> 
Nice work. <clears throat> oh, no new spell, huh? Damn it. Got it! <clears throat> oh my, it seems you found them all. Wait, what? Just as I thought. Yep, that is Maria Bell Croix, isn't it? There's my Alice, Char, and Cannon. I'm so relieved to have them back safe and sound. How should I pay you back? How about you spare us the theatrics? My initial suspicion was that you were the Phantom Thief, but you're definitely not a man in disguise. Who are you, really? Huh? Rumabella is an anagram. Ah! Yep, yep, I called it. As soon as I saw the dolls fighting. Actually, as soon as I mentioned, like, I had a suspicion, as soon as I mentioned the Rosenberg dolls being Maria Bella's choice of weapon, <clears throat> or choice of combat, mm -hmm. and Rima Bella is an anagram of Maria Bella. Or Maria Bell, rather. Her name is Maria Bell. Maria Bell Croix. <clears throat> Rima Bella is an anagram of your real name, isn't it? Or am I mistaken? Maria Bell. Maria Bell. Oh! <laughs> Noise. Allow me to properly introduce myself. We already know exactly who you are. I am the third anguish of Ouroboros, Maria Bell Croix. <clears throat> and these Rosenberg dolls are part of my treasured collection. It's a pleasure to meet you all. So you're the same rank within Ouroboros as Vita. You're one of Crossbell's alchemists. Your family created the Septarian of Zero. Tch, I despise anyone who'd choose to collaborate with the Chief of the Gnomes. <clears throat> Your father was president during Crossbell's brief independence. What's an, insur what's an insurgent who allied herself with my foolish uncle doing during the Civil War doing here? My, my, how my reputation precedes me. I must say, I've been intending to meet you, Lady Mildine. I've heard much about you, like how Osborne sees you as a threat, and even the Witch of the Abyss holds you in high regard. Such a vivacious girl, one who doesn't let anyone walk over her. I like that. Consider me just so flattered. What do you want from us? We got your dolls, just like you requested. And, you, and you've said your thanks, so that should be the end of things. This mission was just a setup for you to toy with us, wasn't it? You were testing our strength, I presume, but enough. Time for you to leave. Aw, oh, I'm not welcome? How upsetting to hear you didn't enjoy my little prank. I'll take my leave then. Maybe meet again sometime. Wait just a second. Oh? Mary Bell Croix, the daughter of the arrested former President Croix. It should be still, still should be Croix. I don't know why this is next there. Why would you, the woman who betrayed Ellie and the others, no, the woman who betrayed all of Crossbell, why would you rope me into some stupid little game like this? You specifically requested someone from Crossbell, so it's obvious you wanted me to be a part of all this. Aw, little Una Crawford. Ellie told me a bit about you. The special support section is counting on you joining their ranks one day. You were devastated when you learned about the situation in Crossbell three months ago. Quite the patriot now, aren't you? Then there were your confrontations with my colleague, Campanella. It sparked my curiosity, and I wanted to size you up. As it happens, you turned out to be just an ordinary girl. There's nothing remarkable about you. You have plenty of enthusiasm, but that's all there is to say. <laughs> Yuna, don't let her words get to you. She's only saying that to provoke you. Huh? Say what you will about Yuna, but for as normal as she may be, you prove to be anything but. Yuna's fiercely loyal to Crossbell, and despite her initial resentment has come to care about Erebonia as well. Meanwhile, you seek nothing but chaos and destruction, 
and are about as blind to reason as they come. You're her exact opposite. Oh. My, those words were aimed to hurt, weren't they? I suppose we are opposites. I did abandon that hopeless crossbell, after all. And when someone catches my eye, I can't help but get this urge to bully them. Although, she's not quite my type, to tell you the truth. Urgh. Hold it. Just what in blazes is going on here? Why, hello there, Miss Maryabelle. Rosalia and Blue Blanc. Gran! Took you ages to notice there was an intruder. Are you going senile on us already? Wait. He's not happy that, uh... Oh. Wait a fucking minute now. So I don't know if this will come into play, but I just had I just had a theory, dear. Okay. So you know the mask that Crow was wearing when he was being Azure Siegfried? Yes. That yeah. was kinda like suppressing his memories. Right, right. And the mask that Angelica was wearing when she was when she was Red Rose Vice? That was like suppressing right, her right. memories? Yeah, yeah. Take a look at Blue Blanc's face. I don't know. You think so? It's just a theory. Like, I'm not entirely sure since he can disguise himself. But I don't... Uh, like, I don't know. Like, he granted, be he, he, he is considered a phantom thief. And, like, anybody who's a phantom thief wears a mask like that. Like, Persona 5. Yeah. Fucking tuxedo mask, sort of. He's basically a phantom thief. Uh, Magic Kid right. Kaito, who's like a phantom thief, also kind of wore a little bit of a mask. So, like, <clears throat> I don't think so entirely, but it's just a theory that I want to throw out into the ether just in case. <laughs> it's just a possibility that I want to make known that I'm thinking about. Like, it's probably nothing, but it's just a possibility that I want to make known that I was thinking of. Oh, it most certainly is. Well, well, what an unexpected pleasure to meet you in person, Crimson Witch. May I compliment you on this cleverly designed labyrinth? Remarkable dimensional layering. Don't be so cheeky. You've got a lot of nerve coming in uninvited through a loophole in my barrier. So you're the alchemist who's driven out Vita and joined forces with Osborne. <clears throat> How's your Ars Magna research going? Are you getting close to mastering the technique? <laughs> oh, I wish. Unfortunately, such things take time. And Blue Blanc, my apologies for impersonating you. If it was anyone but you, my dear, I'd have a fittingly cruel revenge prepared. But you simply never learn, so let's just say you'll owe me a favor for misusing my name. Fine, I can agree to that. Well, I'd better be on my way now. I'll be looking forward to our next meeting. Grr. I can't sense where she went off to. She might have shifted to a higher dimension. No one should have skills like that. I suppose it must be difficult to accept that a Magus could possibly possess talents to rival the Witch of the Abyss herself. Arr! Yuna's just getting toyed with. What the hell is her problem? She's even more scummy than the rumors say. She makes a lasting impression, doesn't she? With both her unbearable personality and incredible abilities. Let's look on the bright side. She may have toyed with us, but we've learned something about her in the process. And about you. You're not the madman some make you out to be after all. Huh? I trust you've been well, Schwarzer. I am delighted to see you return safely. I have no intention of becoming your ally in the foreseeable future, but nor will I be your enemy. I just want to seek out beauty. I certainly hope you understand. Hey. It doesn't matter if you're not with me as long as you ain't against me. Okay, you stay out of our business and we stay out of yours. Is that a de is that the deal? By the way, you helped my students in Crossbell. Thank you for that. Instructor. <laughs> I did that purely on a whim. Well, I'll be going. I appreciate you stepping in to uphold my good name. He has some nerve, contacting me through Vita out of blue and requesting I take him here at once. 
I'm 800 years old, you know. I'd like to be treated with more decorum and respect. Well, that was a journey. That was a fun, that was a fun venture. The group spent some time placating a crabby Roselia. They then stopped off at Aaron before returning to the Merkaba. Ooh, waterfall. Someone's calling? Looks like it's from the Merkaba. Oh, Rain! How's it going on your end? We just wrapped up. Is that excitement I hear in your voice? Did something happen? Well, I got some new info in about leaves in the branch campus. That's great news. We'll see you on the Merkaba soon then. Okay, see you in a bit. Some progress at last. Yeah, from what I know, the main campus students have come to occupy the branch campus. We may have to get involved depending on what info Toa has for us. Well then, shall we head back to the ship and have Toa bring us up to speed? Um, no, actually. We're not going to do that. Back on the Merkaba, Rini and the others quickly gathered on the bridge. They then proceeded to discuss the information they'd obtained about leaves. Okay, I guess we are going to do that. So it's true then. Professor Schmidt really has gone back to the branch campus. Yeah, our intel seems solid. J. Schmidt, one of the three disciples of Professor C. Epstein, the original inventor of orbit technology. He also served as the branch campus's technical advisor. He helped us out a great deal during the Civil War. I've known him for a while now through my grandfather. Your grandfather was a fellow disciple as well, right, Tita? Right. That's what led me to becoming... That's what led me to coming... That's what led to me coming to Erebonia in the first place. But if he's back at the branch campus, that must mean... Yeah, looks like he's on the main campus's side now, just like Major Michael. Damn. I mean, I know he wasn't exactly a philanthropist, but still. Professor... Why? That's just how the old fart is. Kind of doubt there's any bad blood behind it. Yes, he was likely more drawn in by the research opportunity than anything else. But more important are those sent to leaves alongside the professor. A member of the Epstein Foundation and a relative of the Ashen Chevaliers. A relative? Hmm, only one possibility comes to mind considering the circumstances. And that Foundation member, you think it might be Tio? Both seem more than likely, though we can't say for sure just yet. The only way to find out for certain is to do so ourselves. It's going to be a lot harder to sneak through this time around. Still, there's got to be a way in somewhere. We'll find it, just as Class 7 always does. Let's get to finding that route, then. Where do we start? I believe the key to our success lies with us. Right, there's no one here better suited to infiltrating the branch campus than us. Those main campus chuckleheads made their bed. It's up to us to knock them into it. We can do it, Yuna. Instructor Reen. You're darn right we can. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, I want to help out, too. I have to find out what the professor's intentions are. Tita. <laughs> I guess there ain't going to be much room for extras this, this round. Maybe not, but I'm part of the branch campus, too. I have to back them up however possible. Oh, I know. I can try to get in contact with Randy. Well, this main campus graduate ain't just sitting around. I'll give him all the support I can, too. Reed's not the only one who wants to see Elise. Plus, I'd love to put a face to this Tio I keep hearing about. Oh, it astounds me how irritatingly positive all of you managed to be. Just business as usual around here. I'll start on figuring our... Figuring our... Wow. Ah! Look at that text box. Yeah. Tell me, tell me what's wrong with it. I'm figuring out... Oh, out... Our out route? Yeah. I'll start on figuring our out route right away. Oh, oh, out our... Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Like... <clears throat> our out route yeah. could be potentially acceptable if they're just talk If she's just talking about the route they're going to take out, their way out. But... Right. I think it's... I think that's a, uh, a grammar error. It still makes some sort of sense, but it's. I think it's a grammar error. I'll start on figuring our out route right away. Let me know when you finish your preparations. Speak to Rosina, the captain shares like commence infiltration proceed with the main story. Once you do and finish quest will disappear. Well, obviously we're not doing that. We have other things to take care of. Raquel Junction West Languedoc Canyon. West Languedoc Canyon.
Okay. <clears throat> Which next has utmost caution. All right. <clears throat> We're going to try and do this quest as quickly as possible. <clears throat> ah, the young ladies and gentlemen from Thor is welcome. It's Heliston. It is truly a relief to see you all again. Likewise. Though the circumstances may not be ideal, I'm nevertheless relieved to know you've returned to us safe and sound. It's good to see you too, Celestin. I wish we had time to catch up, but I'm guessing you'll want us to get started on your request right away. You said it was an emergency, right? Indeed, that is the main reason I summoned you here. This morning, an airship left Ruhr bound for Ordis, but it never arrived and hasn't been seen since. A whole airship went missing? This is serious. We can't afford to ignore it. Why did you reach out to us specifically, though? It is as you surmise. Two, per two personages of utmost importance were on board that ship. Marquis Hyams and Count Egret. I see. They were probably using the trip to discuss something sensitive. In that case, the person behind the hijacking likely had some kind of connection to the government. Precisely. That was our reading of the situation as well. We suspect it may be the Imperial Defense Force or the Jaegers behind this. Perhaps even Uroboros. That's awful. Emergency barely does this justice. I doubt we'll be able to resolve this peacefully, but we'll have to do something about it all the same. We owe that much to you and Patrick. Then there's Muse's grandfather. Yeah, you said it. We'd like to help too, if you'll have us. Instructor Reen, everyone, thank you. I am truly grateful for your help. Celestin, do you have any leads on where the airship is being kept? As a matter of fact, we have a contact who's pointed us in the right direction. It seems it's somewhere in Rock Patio. Rock Patio? Way out there? A contact? Hmm, how interesting. A high-speed Uroboros cruiser has also been sighted in the area. Getting to the airship without being spotted will be difficult. Yeah, that does sound tricky. What do you think, Muse? Hmm, maybe we could create a distraction while we get in. Let's get in touch with Gaius and see if he'll let us use the Merkaba. Sounds like a good strategy to me. Okay, get ready to move out, everybody. I beg of you, please rescue them and bring this incident to a close. We will. Huzzah! Green and the others went over their strategy again before parting ways with Celestin. They returned to Raquel and prepared to head out. Ah, we'll head out next time. It's getting a little lengthy. So until then, everybody. Until then.